I, I modify curriculum, recipe, cards, uh, and, and just overall, anything that comes through my hand is always changed somewhat according to my audience. I think that that's really important. You have to be aware of uh, what the students or the participants are asking for and what the teacher or the facilitator is, is providing because it's a give and take. And, and, and so everything that goes through my hand is modified. Adapting uh, courses can, can go from uh, not using individual computers, using a smart board as a shared um, media, or it can be uh, changing, modifying the vocabulary, the reading level, the conversation levels. Uh, it can be more relating to what's in the in the news or uh, focusing more on a, on a certain population. Um, if it's for teen moms, then it's what are more relatable issues for that population, the, that cohort of, of participants. So the Start Writing Fiction course that we tried to do was not something that would work for our patrons. We didn't have access to laptops. We couldn't click on the links. We couldn't um, spend hours reading and then writing silently. And I also didn't think that that was the best thing for a group to do together. So I loosely based a PowerPoint presentation on the course that we were given and so my advice for someone who would want to make their own course is to choose something that they're interested in. So you don't have to be an expert in that subject to do a little bit of research and create like a basic framework for how you want this course to go. And if you are struggling, if you're a facilitator and you are struggling with trying to put a course together and you don't you know, work at the library, you can come see your local librarian and they should be able to point you in the right direction to find the databases that you need and all the extra materials to, to put your course together.